Established in 1932 as an auxiliary air force of the British Empire, Indian Air Force is the fourth largest air force in the world, with an estimated 1,588 aircrafts, and over 127,000 active personnel. The Indian Air Force has aircraft and equipment of Russian, British, French, Israeli, US and Indian origins with Russian aircraft dominating its inventory. Since independence, the Indian Air Force has been involved in four wars with neighboring Pakistan and one with the People's Republic of China. Other major operations undertaken by the Indian Air Force include Operation Vijay, the annexation of Goa, Operation Meghdoot, Operation Cactus and Operation Pumalai. Apart from conflicts, the IAF has been an active participant in United Nations peacekeeping missions. Air Force's primary air superiority fighter is Sukhoi Su-30 MKI. It also has the additional capability to conduct air ground strike missions. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI is a super maneuverable twin jet air superiority fighter, developed by Russia's Sukhoi Corporation, and built in India, by India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Compared to its Russian variant Su-30, India's Sukhoi-30 MKI is heavy long-range fighter, and capable of operating in all weather conditions. The aircraft is tailor-made for Indian specifications, and integrates Indian systems and avionics, as well as French and Israeli subsystems. It has abilities similar to the Sukhoi Su-35 with which it shares many features and components. Indian Air Force has 224 Sukhoi MKIs in service as of August 2014. Additional MKIs have been ordered to increase the number to 272. The McCoy and MiG-29 known as BOSS is a dedicated air superiority fighter and constitutes a second line of defense after the Sukhoi Su-30 MKI. India was the first international customer of the Russian-made fighter MiG-29. Indian MiG-29s were used extensively during the 1999 cargo war in Kashmir by Indian Air Force to provide fighter escort for Mirage 2000s, which were attacking targets with laser-guided bombs. According to Indian sources, two MiG-29s from the IAF's 47 Squadron gained missile lock-on two F-16s of the Pakistan Air Force, which were patrolling close to the border to prevent any incursions by Indian aircraft but did not engage them because no official declaration of war had been issued. The Indian MiG-29s were armed with beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles whereas the Pakistani F-16s were not. 66 MiG-29s are in service, all of which are currently being upgraded to the MiG-29 UPG standard. The Dassault Mirage 2000, known as Vajra in Indian service, is the primary multi-role fighter of the Indian Air Force. The Indian Air Force purchased 49 Mirage 2000s in the late 1980. India has assigned a nuclear strike role to its Mirage 2000 squadrons in service with the IAF since 1985. In 1999 when the cargo conflict broke out, the Mirage 2000 performed remarkably well during the whole conflict in the high Himalayas, even though the Mirage's supplied to India had limited air interdiction capability, and had to be heavily modified to drop laser-guided bombs as well as conventional unguided bombs. Two Mirage squadrons flew a total of 515 sorties, 
and in 240 strike missions dropped 55,000 kilograms of ordnance. Easy maintenance and a very high sortie rate made the Mirage 2000 one of the most efficient fighters of the IAF in the conflict. The IAF currently operates 49 Mirage 2000 HS and 8 Mirage 2000 TH all of which are currently being upgraded to the Mirage 2005 MK2 standard as of March 2015. serves as an interceptor aircraft in the IAF. MiG-21 is a supersonic jet fighter aircraft, designed by the McCoy and Gurevich Design Bureau in the Soviet Union. The IAF gained valuable experience while operating the MiG-21 for defensive sorties during the Indo-Pakistani War of 1965. The IAF have phased out most of its MiG-21s and plans to keep only 125 that have been upgraded to MiG-21 Bison standard. These aircraft will be phased out between 2014 and 2017. The MiG-21s are planned to be replaced by the indigenously built Hail Tejas. The Sepicat Jaguar is an Anglo-French jet attack aircraft, originally used by the British Royal Air Force and the French Air in the close air support and nuclear strike role, and still in service with the Indian Air Force. Indian Jaguars were used to carry out reconnaissance missions in support of the Indian Peacekeeping Force in Sri Lanka between 1987 and 1990. They later played an active role in the 1999 Kargil War with Pakistan. Dropping both unguided and laser-guided bombs, the IAF defining its role as a deep penetrating strike aircraft. The Jaguar is also used in small numbers for the anti-ship role, equipped with a Sea Eagle missile. The Jaguar remains an important element of the Indian military as, along with the Mirage 2000, the Jaguar has been described as one of the few aircraft capable of performing the nuclear strike role with reasonable chances of success. The IAF currently operates 139 Jaguars. is a variable geometry ground attack aircraft, originally built by the McCoy and Design Bureau in the Soviet Union and later licensed produced in India by Hindustan Aeronautics as the Bahadur. It is based on the MiG-23 fighter aircraft, but optimized for air-to-ground attack. On May 27, 1999, during the Kargil War, one Indian MiG-27 was lost together with a MiG-21 while supporting an Indian ground offensive in the Kashmir region. The IAF currently operates over 85 MiG-27s. Strategic airlift operations The IAF uses the Ilyushin Il-76 known as Gajra in Indian service. The IAF currently operates 17 Il-76s, which are getting replaced by C-17 Global Master 3. The C-130J of the IAF is used by special forces for combined Army Air Force operations. India purchased 6 C-130JS. However, one such C-130J crashed at Boilier on March 28, 2014 while on a training mission, killing all five on board and destroying the aircraft. The Antonov An-32 serves as medium transport aircraft in the IAF. The aircraft is also used in bombing rolls and para-dropping operations. The IAF currently operates 105 An-32s, 
all of which are being upgraded. The Dornier Du-28 serves as light transport aircraft in the IAF. The IAF also operates Boeing 737s and Embraer ECJ-135 Legacy Aircraft as VIP transports and passenger airliners for troops. Other VIP transport aircraft are used for both the President of India and the Prime Minister of India under the call sign Air India 1.